for you, me ma, 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 for you, me ma. Olua dara, olua dara, olua dara. Allah make you, Allah make you, Allah make you. Allah make you, Allah make you. Allah ya ya, Abbas ya ya ya. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, we are here in your presence. For this moment of 10 minutes with you. This is a time of refreshing again. Refresh us by your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. All that concerns us. Lord, perfect it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to come into your presence to look at your word, to talk about you and your word. You said in your word, we are two or three are gathered together in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Come down in our midst this time in Jesus' name. Amen. Be with us this time and every time in Jesus' name. Amen. Breathe upon the word that we speak, that we hear, that we read, that we explain in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the word that we hear, that we speak, that we hear, that we read, mix with faith in our hearts in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This morning I want to look at Joshua chapter 21. And I want to tell us from there the story of Rahab the harlot. It is important for us to know how to negotiate. And God wants us to be good negotiators. What did I say? God wants us to be good negotiators. What did I say? God wants us to be good What does it mean to negotiate? To negotiate means to, to ask for something. And when somebody gives you something, they give you something small in a business environment. You can ask for something bigger. Don't go about life and then they put big thing here, put small thing. Then you go and take the small one. Don't help people and just say, I help you because of God. You help on that dollar. What the dollar now say, what am I going to give you? What the dollar is one of the richest people in Nigeria, in Africa. You now say, what do you want me to give you? You now say, no, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, sir. God is going to repay me. Or ten dollars is in your presence. Then go takes in your presence. Tinubu is in your presence. Alakija is in your presence. Rich people in Africa that can change your life, change your story forever. And then you are saying, telling them that don't worry, God is going to repay me. Don't you know that God has brought Alakija to your life? So that a lucky that can bless you. God has brought Dangote to your life. So Dangote can bless you. And then you are saying, ah, yeah, yeah, lucky that say, hey, you are, ah, Jesus boy, you help me to write this uh, something. God, uh, what do you want me to do for you? Say, no, don't worry. Yo. Just be going. Don't give me anything. In fact, all these gifts you brought, take it away. This motor you brought, take it away like the prophet Elijah did in those days, Elisha. The case of that prophet is different. Your own case too is different. I say your case is different. So in your own case, God did not instruct you not to take. God did not tell you not to negotiate. I'm looking at the story of Rahab the harlot. The spies came to her house. And she said, ah, it's like God is going to deliver this jelly queen to your hand. This he was saying these spies from Israel. Then she housed them. But she told them before they finish everything that what are you going to give me? How are you going to save me? If God deliver this land, are you going to kill me too? They now say, No, we are not going to kill you. We are not going to kill you. We will not come near you. Just put this red cloth outside of your house. Put it there so that we will know that this is the place where we lodge. We will not come near there. Anybody that is in the house with you will not, will not touch them. 
She negotiated. Eventually, she became a ancestor. She her name is named in the lineage of Jesus Christ. An Israelite married her, and her name is named in the lineage of Jesus Christ. We know the story of Mary the Virgin. She gave birth to Jesus from the lineage of this Israel behind law. She came from the arrangement. The way God does his work, the Bible says it's past finding out. It's past finding out. That was why he said, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated, where they were not even born yet. That is why it is said in the Romans, it is not of him that will it, or of him that run it, but of God that showed mercy. And that is why that does not give you chance to do anyhow. He said again, Romans, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? He said, God forbid. That does not mean you should be doing nonsense, be doing rubbish, because there's grace. Because when some things catch up with you. Rahab, I, am I saying that halotry is good? No. Although show work is not good, sex work is not good. But his story is in the Bible. And I want us to draw a lesson from there. God help her. Definitely, when God has helped her, she will not continue that halotry again. When she came to Israel, she will stop it. Maybe it's something that pushed her to it. Now, the solution has come. Whatever bad thing that anything has pushed you into, many people, poverty has pushed them to so many things. Poverty has pushed some people to stealing, to 419, to all sorts of things. If they have been wealthy, their parents were wealthy, taking good care of them, many people were not going to what they went into. Rehab had the opportunity to negotiate, to ask for what she wanted, to secure her family, to secure her future. And she opened her mouth and she asked, don't tell me you're a Christian, that is only God, you'll be asking for things. You are in a place of employment. They want to employ you. They say, do you want official car? I say, no, I don't want official car. Just let me be trekking to work and trekking back home. What kind of Christian are you? You should even ask them at the interview that this job, does it come with official car? Does it come with official driver? Does it come with official house? Because when you go for a job interview, they will ask you that, what do, we, what do you want us to do for you? So people will be sweating it out for the company. Then when they retired, they now say, oh, this company did nothing for me. Who told you that the company did nothing for you? You did not negotiate. You want to sell a land. And they are saying they want to buy the land for 500000 You can't negotiate with your mother and say, no, give me $2 million. God wants you to negotiate. God wants to do what? To negotiate as a Christian. As a child of God. You have to negotiate. Negotiate means when you go to buy something and they say that this, you know, it is a one error or five, ten error. You should price it. You are the buyer now. You price it down. Instead of ten error, ten then can't I pay eight error? When you pay eight error, you have saved two error. When you pay eight error, you have saved two error. If you are the one selling, you negotiate up. Because some customers can pay you well. Rehab the alert. She asked, she said, why are you going to save me? Where well, this is a deal, it's a deal. Before we sign the document, when you are making any business you're going to, as a Christian, have documented, have documents. Have a lawyer. If you don't have a lawyer, have witnesses. Write down your what you want to do together with your partner and then do everything and write it down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Rehab the hard lot. She negotiated very well. Eventually, she, she got a lot of things. She got a lot of things. You will negotiate well from today in the name of Jesus. Amen. The anointing to negotiate well come upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Big business deals are coming your way. And God is bringing them your way to prosper you, to liberate you from poverty and from penury. 
You will negotiate well from today in the name of Jesus. God is not coming down to negotiate for you. You are the one that will negotiate for yourself. And you are going to negotiate properly from today in the name of Jesus. Let's close our eyes and go to God in prayer and say, Lord, help me to negotiate well. Help me to negotiate well. The power to negotiate. The wisdom to negotiate. The grace to negotiate. Give and grant unto me in the name of Jesus. I am not in for hallow tree like Rahab went into. I am not in support of it. But Rahab had some good qualities. But the story is in the Bible. Joshua 22, 21. Why is this only in the Bible? So that we can learn from it. So that we can learn from it. In the name of Jesus. Use me for something good. Use me for something good. Use me for something good. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, use me for something good. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. God designs things. And that's how we need to be seeking God in, in God's face in prayer. God can do anything, anything for you. Can you imagine a, a harlot? Everybody will looking. Ah, I shall we I shall we I shall we A day came, she saw people of God, she hung on to them. And then she negotiated her life, her way out of prostitution. And she settled her destiny. She settled her family. She settled everyone connected with her. This morning we are going to pray, Lord. Help me, Lord, to be wise. I will not be foolish again. Spirit of foolishness. Get out of my life in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be foolish. I refuse to be foolish. I refuse to be foolish in the name of Jesus. The power to be wise. The grace to be wise. The enablement to be wise. Oh, God, give grant unto me in the name of Jesus. The power I need to be wise. Oh God, the wisdom that my adversary cannot gain. Say, bestow upon me this morning in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In life there will be many deals. In life there will be many things. Lord, make us wise in the name of Jesus. Make us great negotiators in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, make me a great negotiator. Make me a wise negotiator. I will not be a foolish negotiator. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a foolish negotiator like Esau. He sold his birthright. He sold his birthright. He saw sold his birthright. Lord, I refuse to sell my birthright. In the name of Jesus. He look at his land. He, people, some people look at land. They call them a monile. They look at their land. They begin to sell it. Begin to sell it. Begin to sell it. They cannot go and walk like others and come and build the land. They sell it at giveaway prices. Then they come back later and be begging the person they sold the land to. They do know how to negotiate. Instead of selling your land, lease out the land. Instead of selling out the land, rent out the land. And the land is still yours. Lord, help us to be wise. And to be great negotiators. To be great negotiators. To be great negotiators. Help us to delay gratification. Delay gratification. Delay gratification. It is a sign of maturity. It's a sign of good negotiators. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we want to thank you for the story of Rahab, how you put it in the Bible. And we are learning from it that you can use anybody for anything. Lord, use us in this home, in this family, listening to my voice for good things in Jesus' name. Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. The way you help Rahab to transit from our tree to become a great grandmother of Jesus. Oh Lord, use us too in the name of Jesus. The way you help Rahab to be a good negotiator, help us too in the name of Jesus. Deliver us from every evil work. All the plans and powers of the devil, deliver us from them this morning in the name of Jesus. We are going out, we are coming in today. Help us to negotiate well in the name of Jesus. All the days of our life, help us to negotiate well in the name of Jesus. There are some ladies. Let's open our eyes. A boy came to them that I want to marry you. I want to befriend you. The next thing, they have jumped into bed with the man. They are not good negotiators. They are not good negotiators. They're supposed to tell him, let's go and see your parents. Come and see my parents. 
Oh yeah, let's do engagement. Let's do the wedding. Oh yeah, buy land for my father. Buy land for my mother. They do. They can't negotiate. They can't negotiate. They can't negotiate. Oh yeah, my father is in limousine. Go and buy the Cadillac for him before we marry. Oh yeah, our future. Let's buy land for our children. The other we do, we're doing is from one e tree to another e tree. From one e tree to another e tree. Eating up. They can't negotiate well. Say, establish business for me. Establish business for me so that I also be making money. So they, they, they will have, they too will have. They will just go from one e tree. Bam. Eat in this one. Sit down in the best place. Eat. And then go and lodge in hotel. <laughs> you will not be like that in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray, God help me. God help me. God help me. God help me. When opportunity comes, you're not careful to make good use of it. You don't just see a man and just fly into bed, jump into bed with him. Oh, you negotiate. You negotiate marriage. You negotiate a good life. You negotiate a better life. You negotiate a great life. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we bless your name. We worship you. Help us to be wise in the name of Jesus. Help us to be wise in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Seven hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.